What's up guys, it's Bramble Bro, and here you have part one of Let's Play Ikachan. For those of you who don't know, Ikachan was a game made, I think in 2000, um, by obviously the creator of Cave Story. And he made it because when he started developing Cave Story in 1999, he didn't feel like he was quite ready to make such a full-scale game, so he decided to make this, which is a much shorter, smaller experience. It was ported to the 3DS in 2013, I think. I don't think it was 2014, I think it was 2013. And it's in 3D, they added a couple new areas, some new enemies. But this is just the PC version. So let's just jump right in and... It's, it's freeware, of course. Um, there's an English translation and... It's got a few good music tracks. Really not much to this game. So you said swim Ikachan, and this is Ikachan. You just press one button to move, and then you gotta aim. The physics you have to kind of get used to. It does really imitate water physics pretty well. It takes a little getting used to. You don't want to hit the spikes. The fish give you XP, and then you can level up and you have more health. And then killing things gets you XP. And some some enemies do damage, some don't. It's not all that complex or anything. And you can save in these things. Yeah, so now that I got the spike hat, I can punch through this sponge up here. No, um, let's see what this guy has to say. And just, you only, you talk to people by just touching them. That's a funny hat you have there. I bet you can punch a hole straight through a sponge rock with that cap. You're right. I think I can kill these things now, but I also take one damage if they're puffing up. But then fish also restore energy when you don't have full health. Let's talk to you. A pearl? I used to have one, but someone stole it. Was it you, kid? Let me search you for it. Guess you didn't take it. Sorry about that. Not everyone around here is nice. Watch your back, kid. Okay, so... I mean a pearl. Or that guy lost his pearl. Oh, I am ruined. A dead man. Oh dear. You're not here to attack me, are you? No. Phew. I'm sorry I'm so nervous. You see, I'm in a bit of a predicament. Would you like to hear it? Yes. During one of the earthquakes, I was thrown off this ledge, and I lost my pearl. Now any old sea creature can come and bother me because I can't prove I'm a citizen of Ironhead's realm. Could you find my pearl for me? I would go myself, but we're running low on food as it is, and it's vital to protect what we have left. Here, I hope I can help you. We're at the herbal serum. It looks kind of disgusting. Alright. Now that guy might have something of interest. I'm gonna see if I can get up there. Which I don't know if it's possible to get up there. Yet. I'm gonna try. Oh. That makes me think it might be possible, actually. Oh, I did it! We need to find the Mother Pearl. It means everything to us. I haven't seen you around before. Are you new here? Take this. It's Ironhead's Code. The laws that govern us all. You got Ironhead's Code. Ironhead's Code. It reads, Welcome to Ironhead's Water. Strangers cannot be trusted and thus will be attacked. Those of Pearl are citizens of Ironhead's Realm and are protected from the danger that strangers face. Your Pearl do not attack fellow citizens. What goes around comes around and even if you're, if you're ever caught without a your Pearl, you might be attacked yourself. An herbal serum. It's thick, smelly liquid. If you're not sure what it will do, drink it? Yes. Your health has been restored. Well, 
Mm, I guess that's what that does. Oh well. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I've played through this game probably four or five times, and I don't think I've ever used that when I got it. So I actually had no idea what it did. I know everything else about this game, I think. One of the earthquakes opened up a tiny crack here. It's too small to fit through, though. Hey! Ah, wow, that was a huge earthquake. Man, it lets me through. And we got to level two. So now we can take 12 hits. And there's only two boss fights, I think, in the whole game. So it's nothing, uh... It's not super hard in that regard. Or in any regard, really. I don't consider this game to be super difficult for anyone. Certainly not decayed story levels or even Carol Blast levels of difficulty. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. It's nothing riveting. I mean, it doesn't have like a super amazing, fantastic story or anything, but it's it's pretty cool. All right, let's rest and. Save the game. Yeah, and there's actually a couple references to Ikachan in Cave Story. One which is easy to catch and one's not, and I'll explain it when they come up, but... Uh, let's see what this guy's the same. Being a sentry is so boring, all I do is sit here and watch every re least Iron Heads... Wait for least Iron Heads star attack stars on an enemy. But there are no strangers here. Everyone has a pearl. Hey, wait, you don't have a pearl. Prepare to defend yourself. I gotta kill all these things. It's giving me quite a bit of XP. Oh jeez. I died and killed it at the same time? Okay. I think I just saved. Oh, nope. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I just kept getting that invincibility period, and then I'd go through them, try and hit them, and then I'd end up on top of them, and they'd hit me. Try not have that happen again. It's happening again. Got it. Missed it. Come on. Oh my gosh. The struggle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, when you get to one of those last ones, it's just hard, because you keep getting hit by them, and then you go invincible, and then they hit you again, because... You go through them. I got that one. Oh, I got that one, too. I got it this time, I think. Oh no. I did it. Wow, you must be a skilled warrior. Please don't attack me, Mr. Warrior. I was just following orders. You may pass. Okay. And that's a good place to end off episode one. Yeah, if you like the video, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if there's any game you think I should play next, and stay tuned for part two of Let's Play Kachan. Thank you all so much for watching.